Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can get a big FPS boost in Fortnite. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So there are actually a couple of different ways that you get to, uh, that you get to try to actually give you a bigger FPS boost when playing Fortnite. But uh, I find that in my case, the best way to actually squeeze out every bit of performance that your um, PC can muster what you would want to do, uh, apart from messing with the in-game settings, is experiment a bit with the NVIDIA control panel. Now, obviously, this um, guide only applies to people who uh, use an NVIDIA card to run the game. And there are actually a couple of um, causes for lag in Fortnite, especially like... Uh, I I've seen some cases where people are using gaming laptops, but they're not getting the... Um, the best performance that they could out of their uh, hardware specs. So here's how to actually do it. So if you're on an NVIDIA card, what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop. You want to click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you do, uh, it should bring up a window that looks like this. And once you guys find yourselves here, actually, um, let me put this on full screen. So um, normally the landing page for um, the control panel would look something like this. And what you would want to do here is you want to click on Manage 3D Settings under 3D Settings, as you can see here. And you want to click on Program Settings. And once you're here, um, actually there are two ways to do this. You can either do Global Settings or do Program Settings if you want to manually change the um, NVIDIA configuration for that specific game or application. So in this case, let's actually go for um, this because this is just a video example. So I'm not actually going to save the settings. So currently, I don't have Fortnite installed. But the way to do it is to click on this drop down right here or to basically add Fortnite's launcher here. Now, the, uh, one of the most common problems that people would have when they experience lag in Fortnite is they don't have the proper GPU set to run their game. And you would normally find that here. Uh, this setting right here, OpenGL Rendering GPU. Now, normally this is set to auto, or <clears throat> especially if you're on a laptop, this would be set to auto. So what, the, what, uh, what that means is that um, in most cases, um, the game would, or rather uh, your PC would automatically select your CPU to run the game instead of your GPU, which is uh, what's supposed to be running your game in the first place, your video card. So what you want to do, is um, let's say you have a laptop with an RTX 3050. You want to click on Open OpenGL Rendering GPU and select RTX 3050, right? And when you do, click on Save. It should appear here somewhere. Now, this is one of the uh, most determinant factors of making sure that you get the most performance out of your Fortnite experience. So selecting the correct GPU to run your game is number one. Number two is uh, the power setting that you can set it to. So once you guys find, uh, once you guys are here, what you wanna look for is the uh, performance mode. Here it is, uh, power management mode. So on on default, or by, by default, this is set to normal. So if you wanna get more frames, you obviously wanna set this to prefer maximum performance. And when you do, simply click on save and you should be done. Now, what this would do is it would have your GPU run at 100% every single time you, you boot up the game. So that way you don't get any frame dips or any um, uh, lag spikes when you're playing the game, which is cool. Now, a couple of graphical things that you can do here is also adjust the uh, quality of your game by clicking on <clears throat> texture filtering. You can uh, set it to performance or high performance. and uh, this would have the drawback of making the game look uh, more gritty or pixelated, but it's not so bad that you would notice it right away. So if you want, if you were someone who valued um, uh, min-maxing performance out of uh, uh, over um, getting the highest quality, then this would be the setting that you could change. And the same applies to uh, anisotropic filtering as well as um, anti-aliasing mode. So this one you can set to times two for it to be the lowest. <coughs> Excuse me. Anti-aliasing mode, um, you can have it set to um, <clears throat> use global settings. So this is actually a, oh, sorry, application controlled. So this is actually a setting that you change in game where you get to turn it off or you can turn it off here alternatively. So those are just a couple of things that you can do to improve performance in Fortnite. 
So this, I guarantee you, will work 100% of the time. So if this guide helped you guys um, with your gameplay experience in Fortnite, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. If you guys want to see more, more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we upload guys like these daily. So if you want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel as well as making sure that the bell notification is turned on. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.